Hey guys, BTS here with another Sony Vegas quick tip. This is how to do the RGB split effect using magic bullet looks. If you don't have magic bullet looks, I'll provide a link in the description that will bring you to a, to a video showing you how to uh, download and install magic, bu mag magic bullet looks and all that good stuff. So I'm going to assume you already ha have your clip synced up with whatever music you're, go you're going to use and as always right click on your video track go to switches and make sure to have disable resample that will get rid of any ghosting that is on your video or at least it should so right about now your clip looks something like this of course it's not gonna be this exact clip but it's gonna it's gonna be all synced up and all that good stuff here let me pre-render that it's a bit it's a bit laggy because I'm rec uh, recording of, co of course so it looks something like this, all all synced up and all that nice stuff. I'm gonna turn my headset down a bit. It's a bit loud. All right. So first thing you want to do is go to Magic Bullet Looks and drag it on Edit and add your. You want to add your color correction. Do not clean RGB split. Now, this is the, ma the main part, chromatic aberration, I believe it's pronounced, if not, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but you want to make sure to have this on your color correction, and just have it set so, ev so ev everything is set to zero r right now, hit finished, that's all good, I'll put this into full, and see how it looks, that actually looks r really nice, I like that color correction. Anyway, so now this is the main part. Go to go on the timeline to where you want the RGB split to start. So I want it to start right at the shot. So right about there look, looks good. Press M to make a marker. Then go where you want it to end. Or where, or if you're adding Twixter, wherever you want your Twixter Twixter to start, because you cannot do this effect with. Uh, Twixter you can well you can but you have to add the Twixter render out the video bring it back into Ve Ve Vegas then add the R the RGB twitch then otherwise the Twixter will mess with it and all that stuff so I want it to end right about there it looks good so I'll press M make make another marker now this is the key part and this is a bit rep repetitive and it does take a decent amount of time depending on how long you want the RGB twitch to, la to last. So you want you want to have your video effects little box thing, this thing here. I have mine right in my Vegas, that's why it, it doesn't pop, uh, pop up. Make sure you're on magic bullet looks, go to animate, and then make sure you have uh, this here sync cursor to media timeline checked. Go to your first marker, add a keyframe, go to your last marker, add another keyframe. Now you want to zoom in. Now you want to go ahead about three frames. You, I, I like to use the, uh, a the arrow keys on my uh, keyboard or you could also use the switches here, whichever you, you prefer. So one, two, three, and then click edit. Also I suggest having your preview set to best full since we're not going to be playing it we're just gonna be looking at the main picture so I had three frames on that keyframe click edit go to the chromatic turn up red uh, I'll turn it up a bit more finished go ahead another three frames one two three click edit again Go to chroma, uh, chrom, chrom, chromatic again. Click reset. Uh, let's bring up the green this time. Hit finished. And then really you want to do, uh, do this for about every three uh, three frames. So I'm just gonna speed up the rest of this until until I'm done.
Alright, and now and now I'm done, so I'm just going to change this back to auto. Then pre-render this and see how see how it looks. Oh, that's way too quiet. I'm not really too ha uh, too happy with that, so I'm gonna go back to my keyframes and just make the RGB split a bit more uh, intense by by turning everything up just a bit. I'm gonna change this back to full so I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's see how that looks now. That's much better. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can then add your Twixter, add all your other fancy stuff. I think this shot is a bit too quiet. Bit too quiet. So what I'm going to do is go to my editing pack here. BTS editing pack. This will be available to everybody for free once I hit 200 subscribers. So that shall be nice. But anyways, I'm just going to add a few more effects to this clip, then render it out. But if you have any requests for, tuto for uh, tutorials on effects that you've seen in my videos, just leave a uh, comment and I'm sure I'll get to it. But anyways, I'm BTS. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And until next time, stay creative.